Here are a few problems I see every once in a while. And as you can see right here, we have a wooden stairway sitting on top of another concrete um, stairway. And I, I'm trying to wrap my mind around how it was designed originally, but having a difficult time. However, there is a problem and you can see it with the tread and the riser. And the, it's the second step and the third riser. Here you can see the second riser and I drew an arrow to scale and I'm going to move the arrow to the third riser and you can see it's not even close. This thing's probably off by about uh, two inches minimum. Now there's also a problem with the second step and you can see right here this is how it should be you should have an even flow this is what the building code requires and i believe most building codes do not won't allow more than a three eighths of an inch variance however this one here looks like again it's another two inches and i just drew this picture i'm not drawing it to scale i'm just giving you an idea of what it's actually looking like and the problem um, where the second tread or the second step uh, again is a little wider than the rest of the stairs. Now this can create a problem for people walking up and down the stairs. You seem to develop a rhythm walking up or down a set of stairs and when that rhythm gets um, out of whack because there's a taller or smaller riser or a wider or skinnier tread, this can actually create a trip hazard. And of course, that's why we have building codes to help uh, eliminate problems like these. So if you're planning on redoing a set of stairs, make sure that you make you know make sure that the treads and the risers are going to be uh, exactly the same or at least within your building code requirements otherwise you could end up with an accident and we don't want that